Hello everybody, it's Jim the Gentleman Crafter. Um, I wanted to show you my haunted house that I did for Graphic 45 um, um, for the blog hop for Want to Scrap and for Art Glitter and Graphic 45. Um, I'm so excited that y'all like it and I thought I'd go, uh, do a little video real quick and show you the ins and outs of the, of the haunted house. So I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to move the camera so I'll be back in just a second. Okay everybody, here she blows. This is the haunted house. And uh, I'm going to walk you through it real quick. Um, the gates um, are on hinges from uh, Graphic 45, using my lucky pointer. Um, from Graphic 45, the little brads um, are from Graphic 45. Um, the lanterns, let me see if I can get up here. Let me give you an overview real quick. So um, the, the gates open, obviously, and um, I have my little water fountain forgot to use my pointer. Had my little water fountain. And what I did for the water, uh, water fountain, I had these left over from the Ferris wheel, the little bases. And then I had these just in my wood uh, collection, the little um, finial looking thing. And I turned that upside down. I turned the uh, doorknob from Graphic 45 upside down to make the water bowl. And it fit the hole to this ball. The, the ball had a pre-drilled hole. And it fit that perfectly. And I just pushed it down on there. And then I glued uh, one of Tim's uh, hitch posts to the top. Okay. Um, the once again, uh, the call. It's every, everything is made out of the chipboard. Um, this is the main reason uh, for the unit was the uh, Graphic 45, the altered art box, which simply just pulls up and moves. Um, I was going to make a little uh, base for it, but but didn't uh, this time around. Probably will. But uh, not right now. So uh, let me let me put that back, and then we'll give you kind of a an overview real quick of uh, with uh, with some close-ups. Let's see. I'm going to take the camera off and move it in. So there is the courtyard. My friend Zandra uh, gave me these uh, these skulls, which I love. Thank you very much, Zandra. Um, some little trees I had uh, from uh, last Halloween that I need to glue in there. Uh, I got those at Michael's. Uh, once again, here is the uh, the lantern. And what I did for the lantern was this was one piece. This is upside down. This is one piece right here, up to here. Then I glued a little finial on top of that. Then I, grew, I glued a graphic 45 uh, button brad to the large button brad to the top of that. And once again, another Tim Holtz uh, hitch post for the top. And the balls here are just uh, wooden balls that I painted and uh, glued to the top of the columns. And the fences are um, the Graphic 45 uh, paper. And I just made little boxes, little thin uh, shallow boxes. Um, there we go. Uh, to, put them, to put the paper onto. And uh, I thought that worked out pretty cool. I was excited that that, that kind of worked out. Yeah, looked good, I thought. And um, then I made the little towers here um, to because I wanted that I wanted the house to be a little bit bigger, you know, uh, looking. Um, I did the glitter here on the roof? Let's see. Let me move this around toward the light. There we go. Much better. Um, glittered the roof shingles. I made some shingles, and then uh, put the want to scraps bling on it. Um, Let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, the uh, clock here, of course, is Tim's, uh, Tim Holtz, ideology. Um, the uh, butter, uh, butterfly. The bat is actually a butterfly staple that I cut to make uh, the bat. There it is. And then I enameled it with some silver and some black <clears throat> embossing powder. And then... I put UD on it and then um, melted the UD on top of it and then just glued it to the little finial ball back there. And then these, of course, are, are the, I think that's Martha's, uh, Martha Stewart's uh, little iron gate um, punch, which I love. That's wonderful. Um, anyway, um, the I cut three-quarter inch circles, punched three-quarter inch circles to make the... Um, um, what is that? Tile roof shingles, and uh, glued those on individually. Okay, all the way across and around, 
and then the back I just covered with paper everywhere there we go um, for for the the sidewalk I love this this punch um, I think this is a punch by DK success maybe um, it could be Martha I think it's EK success I may be totally wrong um, uh, I'll, I can go look but anyway the the uh, I made the little brick walkway here for the fountain with that with that punch um, I placed the whole thing onto a double layer of chip here and um, added some ball feet okay so let's go to the inside oh uh, the graphic 45 the new uh, keyholes aren't they wonderful can you see that the new keyholes and then added a button brad for the doorknob okay so the top comes off let's let me pull this out and um, that's what it looks like without the house in it and then move this over here and try to hold the camera at the same time so hold on okay so here is the uh, I'm gonna make y'all sick I'm sorry the um, mansion the haunted house you pull back a little bit and you pull off the top let me let me just set the camera down hold on let's see if I can do that there's my hand let it go in let's see if I can get it angled in there right um, so there is the uh, mansion and what you do is you pull off the top here it's just a chipboard piece that was never finished I needed to paint that inside but it didn't um, that I made a chipboard and uh, that's the side view okay so this holds the the 8x8 I'm sorry the 5x8 altered box I think that's what it is um, and so you open it up here and you can kind of tell I ran out of steam a little bit and, and was trying to get this done. So um, everything kind of coordinates, but uh, not totally embellished. And then the little album inside. I made a quick, uh, fast and easy, quick, quick album for the inside. And um, pull off the ribbon, the Graphic 45 trim. And uh, it holds just a little uh, photo album. That I did on my skewer binding that, that I love. So, and one day I'm going to teach y'all how to do that soon. Um, but the little skewers that hold the pages in, and it works great. Okay, and for photos for Halloween pictures. Okay, so that is that that goes in there. It folds back up. That's the back, not too embellished. Um, top goes back on here. Let's see like that and I don't know y'all will see a sneak y'all may have seen a sneak peek uh, on graphic 45's website but I did a Christmas house similar to this and I, I'm totally in love with it but I did a, a base and uh, it sits in a base in the top and it pulls all off and it's got kind of a three-dimensional thing and whenever graphic 45 um, shows that on their blog then I can show it on mine so I'll show you all that later but um, that is the Graphic 45 Haunted House, the uh, Happy Hauntings Haunted House. Uh, I hope you like it. Thanks a so bunch.